Hello students, welcome to TSAT classes. Welcome to class on Telangana policies and welfare schemes. As part of TSPSC group one prelims, we have started a series of classes on Telangana policies and welfare schemes. This is part of the five class series which we are going to do today. Out of these five classes on Telangana policies and welfare schemes, today in this class, let us focus on the educational, the educational and forestry related welfare schemes and policies launched by Telangana government. Telangana government. See, education is one area where it is must and compulsory on part of the government to take care of its people. Article 21 capital A of the Indian constitution and Article 45 of the Indian constitution directly linked to education in India. Not only that, the 11th fundamental duty of the Indian constitution that is, it is a duty of the parents and guardians to provide education to all the children between 6 to 14 years is also a fundamental right with respect to the citizens. So, education is must for every country to grow and to take the country progress forward. Today's children are tomorrow's future and tomorrow's future depends upon the quality of education what we give today and focused education by the government. So let us see since 2014 after the Telangana state has been formed what are the schemes linked to education launched in Telangana state for upliftment of development of students. Not only that, in this class, we also look at the forest related or forestry related Telangana schemes and policies. Sustainable development or sustainable growth is one thing we keep hearing in the newspapers. Now, what is the meaning of sustainable development? Utilizing the resources but not compromising on our future, making sure our future generation also get benefited from the natural resources what we have today. And the main thing for this purpose is to have a healthy natural vegetation. For that purpose, there are many environmental related policies launched by Telangana government. There are many laws linked to this environment protection in Telangana. Let us discuss some important schemes launched by the Telangana government with respect to environment related aspects. So now, in this class, how we are going to see these two topics. Firstly, I will put forward an objective type question based out of an Telangana scheme. After solving that objective question, if required, we will see more points regarding that Telangana welfare scheme. Consider the following and choose the correct statement with regards to Manavuru Manabadi scheme. Manavuru Manabadi scheme. See, this is an expected question for your prelims because Manavuru Manabadi scheme is launched recently by the Telangana government in the year 2022. It was launched in the year 2022. Manavuru Manabadi. Our village, our school. What is this scheme all about? Let us see the statements. Let us answer this and let us focus on that. Statement number 1, it was launched on 8th March 2022 at Vanaparthi 
to 2022 budget. See, this scheme is part of the budget 2022. In the budget 2022, which was announced by the government of Telangana in the month of February, they came with something called Manabadi Manavuru scheme, education linker scheme, providing quality education to the children, providing infrastructure facilities in the schools. And as part of this, as part of this budget announcement, the scheme was launched on 8th March of 2022. It was launched on 8th March of 2022. 8th March is also the International Day for Women or International Women's Day. Remember, and this key was launched at Vanaparthi. The statement is correct. Statement number two under this scheme, 12 infrastructure facilities will be developed in all government schools. Absolutely correct. Remember this 12. There are 12 infrastructure benefits proposed in this scheme. So, the answer for this is C. Both the statements are correct. Now, look at this. Manavuru Manabadi scheme. Let us see more information about that. Try to understand. This scheme is also called Manabasti Manav, Manabadi program. Manabasti. If it is in an urban area, it is called Manabasti Manabadi program. Manavuru Manabadi or Manabasti Manabadi aim to, aimed at all round development and creation of effective infrastructure in schools across the state by setting up digital classrooms, construction of additional classrooms and taking up repairs to the schools to benefit 19.84 lakh children of 26,065 schools in the state of Telangana. Look at this, very, very important. It says to build up digital infrastructure, looking, see, putting up smart boards, using of technology, using of IoT, Internet of Things, doing repairs to the schools, already existing repairs. Now, this program intend to target 19.84 lakh children in the state of Telangana who are studying in. 26,065 schools. Look at the next point. The program will be implemented in three years with the budget of 7,289 crores. The program will be implemented in three years with a total budget of 7,289 crores. See, 2022, 2023, and 2024. This is the target. This is the target. This will be beneficial to 9,123 government schools in the first year. About 3,497 crores will be spent in the first phase to be taken up in this academic year of 2022. See, out of the total budget, almost half of the budget is to be spent in the year 2022 only. If you look at this scheme, one important aspect everyone should understand here is today's children are tomorrow's future. The more you invest in today's children, the more you benefit the society in the future. Investing more in the education, investing more in the health sector is very productive and very good as part of the government of or any government in this world and also especially for our state that is Telangana government state. Meaning education is a very basic thing where people need. And now with this scheme called Manabadi, Manav, Manav, uh, Manavuru Manabadi or Manabasti Manav, Manabadi, children across the state will benefit. They, they, they will know what are the digital infrastructure, how the world is moving forward, how we need to cope up. They, they increase their analytical ability of thinking, decision making, etc. This is a very important scheme. And this scheme was launched on 8th March, 8th March 2022 at Vanaparthi. Remember this. Which of the following statements 
is or are correct with respect to Kasturiba Gandhi Balika Vidyalayas. Kasturiba Gandhi Balika Vidyalayas. It is called KGBVs. KGBVs. Which of the following statements is correct? This is a direct question, simple. It is a residential schooling facility for girl children of 6 to 10 to standard, correct. Admissions are given to orphans, single parents or no parents and only to girl students, correct. There are 475 Kasturi Gandhi Balika Vidyalayas in Telangana as on 2018. This is also correct. The answer is D. All the above statements are correct. See, Kasturi Ba Gandhi, Kasturi Ba Gandhi itself denotes this scheme is linked to girls. And Kasturi Ba Gandhi Balika Vidyalayas, Balika, 6th to 10th class. Government has taken an initiative to provide free education to the poor girls from 6th to 10th standard. From 6th to 10th standard. And not only provide, not only to provide free education, but also a residential facility will also be provided. Hostel will also be given. One of the very important scheme to understand and know. Consider the following and choose which of the following is or are correct with regards with midday meals program. See, midday meals program is a Government of India scheme implemented implemented in coordination with state government in all the government schools in all the government schools. Now what is this midday meals program? Let us see the options. This scheme is also called Portion Abhyan. Recently, the government of Telangana has renamed this scheme as Poshan Abhyan. Okay, so this is correct. The main objective of this scheme is to provide nutritious supply of food and decrease school dropouts. See, the objective is very much correct, but you need to understand one thing. You all should remember what is Article 47. Article 47 of the Constitution of India talks about three things. The state shall take steps in 1. Increasing the standard of living of a person. Increasing the standard of living of the people. 2. Provide nutritious supply of food. 3. Prohibit the use or consumption of alcohol. According to Article 47, the state has three roles to perform. 1. The state has to increase the standard of living of the people. Two, provide the nutrition supply of food. See, nutritious supply of food. Midday meals program, which is also called Portion Abhyan, is linked to providing nutritious supply of food. And thirdly, prohibition of alcohol. Now look at this. In this scheme, in this scheme, the government of India supports from 1st to 8th standard, absolutely correct. Now, this many people don't know, please remember. Now, 1st to 8th standard supported by government of India, 9th to 10th standard supported by Telangana government. So, all the children from 1st to 10th class will be given nutritious food. But 1st to 8th standard is supported by government of India, 9th and 10th standard is supported by Telangana government. So, the answer is D. All the statements are correct. Midday meals program is also called Portion Abhyan. Remember this for your exam. Remember this for your exam. Consider the following and choose the correct statement with respect to the implementation of, look at this, Aritaram program in Telangana. Chalo. One more expected question for your exam. Arita Aram. It is called Telangana ko Arita Aram. Arita Aram is a scheme linked to forestry or environment. As I told you before, it is a duty of the state to also 
protect the environment, wildlife, flora, fauna, as per Article 48, Capital A. Article 48, Capital A, Article 48, Capital A, which is added by 42nd Constitution Amendment Act, 1976. It says, it is a duty of the state, it is a duty of the state to also protect the environment, protect the flora, protect fauna, wildlife, etc., plants, etc. For this purpose, government has to come up with few organizations or few schemes. Not only that, two. I hope you have heard of this concept called greenhouse gases emission, carbon dioxide, sulfur dioxide other emissions. So, more plants ensure that the heat waves in the atmosphere get decreased. So, planting more trees is very important for this purpose as well. And exactly, Arita Aram scheme target that planting of trees. Look at this. First statement. The scheme is launched on, remember this for your exam, July 3rd, 2015 in Moinabad, Ranga Reddy district. This is correct. Harita Aram scheme is launched on July 3rd, 2015 at Moinabad. Remember this. 2. The main objective of this scheme is to increase the forest cover, which is 24 to 33 percent, including everything. The forest cover of Telangana is 24 percent. The aim is to increase it to 33 percent. The Indian forest cover is 21 percent total, but in Telangana it is above Indian average that is 24 percent and the world forest cover is almost 30 percent, 30, 33 percent. So, Telangana government want to make it to 33 percent. So, both the statements are correct with regards to Arita Aram scheme here. Now, let us see some more points with regards to Arita Aram scheme. The principal target of Arita Aram is to plant 230 crore plants in Telangana. What is the target? The target is to plant 230 crores plants in Telangana. Out of this, 130 crores seedlings are proposed to be planted outside the notified forest area and remaining 130 crores in rest of the state. In this 130 crores, 10 crores within HMDA limits, Hyderabad Municipal Development Authority. So, simply remember this, point number 1, out of this 230 crores, 230 crores, this is divided into 130 plus 120. Now, this 130 crores saplings to be planted outside the notified forest area, outside forest, outside forest area. This include 10 crores in Hyderabad. Now, in this 120 crores in the rest of the state, that is in forest, okay. So, this, no, this area will be notified by the government. It is also proposed to plant and rejuvenate the viable rootstocks to achieve 100 crores plantation inside the forest area by way of intense protection of the forest. Remember this, 230 crores is the target. Okay, next one. Now, remember this. As per the recent socio-economic survey of 2022, remember this for your exam, 220.7 crores are planted. See, target is 230 crores. Started in 2015, we are in 2022, 7 years and the entire plantation completed was 220.7 crores over. So, what is the left one? 10 crores. We will be finishing in by next year mostly. The various planting models that have to be adopted from Arita Aram include institutional planting, agroforestry, tank for shore planting, Homestead planting, barren hills afforestation, avenue planting, and block plantation. These are the different plantation groups. 
remember this for the exam remember target for the exam remember what is the hdma limits 10 crores remember this for the exam and also please remember 33% target is 24 to 33% remember it was started on july 3rd 2015 these are the points you should remember with regards to this particular scheme not only that in 2022 there is one more proposal in 2022 budget government of telangana came with something called telangana arita nidhi it is called arita nidhi 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 means fund telangana arita nidhi look at this now what is telangana arita nidhi with the objective to enhance deepening the fruits of the massive plantation activity and provide sustainable sustainability in long run on 1st 10 2021 that is october 1st 2021 in the floor of the assembly the cm honorable cm announced telangana arita nidhi a dedicated green fund for telangana state see funds are very much important voluntary funds is very very needed for this hour we also have csr funds we have many people in in this state who are actually into plantation who are who, there are many ngos who are working on these lines you need some money you need some funds and for this purpose on 1st of october 2021 cm kcr garu has announced a fund called green fund arita nidhi now how do we get this arita nidhi just once in one year some amount will be deducted from certain classes of people and that money will be stored in green fund or arita nidhi and this fund will be utilized only for the plantation of trees who are they look at this question will come who are they a one time deduction will be made as per the following okay before seeing the one time deduction let us see some more points with regards to Aditya Nidhi. Telangana Aditya Nidhi would receive contributions from various sources, mainly public representatives, MLAs, MPs, Sarpanch, Corporators, President, MLA, uh, Rajya Sabha, Lok Sabha members, etc. Government employees, other sections of the society, a predefined portion of taxes or a fee and other levies that the state government imposes so to ensure to get the funds for arita nidhi government of india uh, sorry government of telangana will come up with certain taxes fees a one time assess on their taxes on their sum so that that amount can be collected by the government and utilize it for sapling utilize it for planting utilize them for arita haram Predefined amount is there. What is that amount? We'll see. It started from 1st of April 2022, and so far, 15.6 crores, 63 crores, has been contributed to Arita Nidhi account. See, I told you, on 1st of October 2021, this scheme was announced. But this Arita Nidhi is part of budget 2022. And as part of the budget, the scheme was launched on 1st April 2022. A one time deduction will be made on government employees, public representatives, etc. Now, for this purpose, till now, 15.63 crores has been collected in Arita Nidhi program. Now, let us see what is the amount which will be deducted. A one time deduction will be made as per the following 1. State government employees 300 rupees per year, one time deduction. All for imagine there are 6 lakh employees into 300. All India services 1200 rupees per year, IAS, IPS, Indian Forest Service, IFS into 1200. 10th class, each 10th class student should give, contribute 10 rupees per year, 10 rupees per year. Intermediate, 11th and 12th class, 12 rupees per year. 
डिग्री स्टूडेंट्स ट्वेंटी फाइव रुपीज पर ईयर एम एल एम एल सी एंड एम पी राज्यसभा लोकसभा एम पी सिक्स थाउजेंड पर ईयर एम एल एम एल सी एम पी लोकसभा एम पी राज्यसभा सिक्स थाउजेंड पर ईयर जिला परिषद प्रेसिडेंट मंडल परिषद प्रेसिडेंट चेयरमैन ऑफ द म्यूनिसपालिटीज मेयर एक्सेट्रा ट्वेल्व हंड्रेड रुपीज पर ईयर सो इन दिस वे The amount will be collected for Arita Nidhi. Arita Nidhi is a fund should be used only for planting trees under Arita Haram program, which was started 2015 at Moinabad on July 3. Okay. Consider the following and choose the correct statement with regards to land distribution scheme. With regards to land distribution scheme. The objective of this scheme is to provide three acres of agricultural land to the landless Dalits, which is launched on August fifteen to two thousand fourteen. Correct. See, the objective of this scheme is to provide three acres of land to landless Dalits. See, those who have land will not get; those Dalits which do not have land will receive it. And this scheme is launched in, in the year two thousand fourteen. August fifteenth. The land will be purchased by the state government with a purchase price of two to seven lakhs per acre. Government will purchase the land, which costs two to seven lakhs per acre, and that will be given to the landless Dalit. District collector is authorized to purchase the land. This is important for the exam. This will come. remember this under land distribution scheme who has the authority to uh, to purchase the land is it mro is it district collector is it vro or some other whatever it is the answer will be district collector not mro many people think that it is tahsildar or mro who, because he is a land uh, uh, he maintains the agriculture lands data and all and also is a revenue officer so you feel that mro is a person who is authorized to purchase the land under land distribution scheme but no it is district collector who has the authority to purchase the land is it clear now yes so so this is your land distribution scheme now these are the schemes which are linked to the forestry and also education related in in, in telangana government of telangana prestigiously started a scheme called arita aram and this arita aram scheme has shown much results because already 220 crore saplings has been planted the target is only 220 remember that for the exam completely arita aram should be remembered now coming to 2022 budget we have seen two things one manavuru manabadi scheme launched as part of 2022 budget in 2022 for providing infrastructure facilities in the government schools of telangana and second thing is arita nidhi arita nidhi is a scheme launched on 1st april 2022 where as on today almost 16 crores fund has been collected as a one time deduction from different people these two are expected for the exam so revise this again make notes and i'll see you guys again in the next class till then thank you very much jai hind